Hello. Today we are going to hear a story of a mother who was sad and happy for her son joining the army. We will later go through some vocabulary words. Please like and subscribe. You can also check out a course of over 40 video lessons in the description below. Let's listen to the story. Mrs. Joel sat quietly in her small, cozy living room, holding a photo of her son, Daniel. The photo was taken just a few weeks ago on his 18th birthday. Daniel was smiling, full of life and excitement for the future. But now, things were different. Daniel had made a decision that filled Mrs. Joel with both pride and fear. He had joined the army and was about to leave for war. The news of Daniel's decision had hit Mrs. Joel like a wave. She knew her son was brave and wanted to serve his country, but the thought of him going to a faraway place, facing danger, made her heart ache. She remembered the day he told her, sitting at the kitchen table, his eyes full of determination. Mom, I want to make a difference, he had said. I want to protect the people I love. Mrs. Joel had smiled, hiding her worry. She knew she had to be strong for him. I'm proud of you, Daniel, she had replied. Just promise me you'll be careful. The day had come all too quickly. Daniel was packing his bags in his room, getting ready to leave. Mrs. Joel walked in, watching him fold his clothes neatly into his suitcase. She felt a lump in her throat, but she didn't want to cry. She had to be strong. Do you have everything you need? She asked, trying to keep her voice steady. Daniel looked up and nodded. Yes, Mom, I've got everything. He paused and then walked over to her, giving her a tight hug. I'm going to miss you. Mrs. Joel hugged him back, trying to hold on to the moment. I'm going to miss you too, Daniel, but I know you'll do great. You're so brave. They stood there for a moment, just holding each other. Mrs. Joel wanted to freeze time to keep her son safe at home, but she knew she couldn't. She had to let him go. As they walked to the door, Mrs. Joel handed Daniel a small notebook. I want you to write in this whenever you can, she said, and I'll write to you too. That way, we'll always be connected, no matter how far away you are. Daniel took the notebook and smiled. I will, Mom, I promise. The taxi arrived, and it was time for Daniel to leave. Mrs. Joel stood at the doorstep, watching as her son got into the car. She waved as the taxi drove away her heart heavy with a mix of pride and sadness. When the car disappeared around the corner, she finally let the tears fall. Mrs. Joel walked back into the house, now feeling emptier than before. She sat down at the kitchen table, where Daniel had told her about his decision. She picked up a pen and a piece of paper and started to write. Dear Daniel, she began, I hope this letter finds you safe and well. I miss you already, but I'm so proud of the man you've become. As she wrote, Mrs. Joel felt a sense of peace. Writing to Daniel made her feel closer to him, as if she could still protect him in some small way. She knew she would write many more letters, each one filled with love, hope, and the wish for her son's safe return. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months. Mrs. Joel found herself constantly waiting for the mail, hoping for a letter from Daniel. Every day, she would sit by the window, watching the postman walk down the street, praying that today would be the day she'd hear from her son. One afternoon, as she was watering her garden, Mrs. Joel saw the postman approach with a letter in hand. Her heart skipped a beat as she rushed to meet him at the gate. Is it from Daniel? she asked, her voice filled with hope. The postman smiled and handed her the envelope. Yes, it is Mrs. Joel. It looks like he's doing well. Mrs. Joel clutched the letter to her chest, 
thanking the postman before hurrying back inside. She sat down at the kitchen table, her hands trembling as she carefully opened the envelope. She pulled out the letter and began to read. Dear Mom, I'm sorry it's taken me so long to write back. Things have been really busy here, but I want you to know that I'm safe. The training is tough, but I'm learning a lot. I've made some good friends, and we're all looking out for each other. As she read on, tears filled Mrs. Joel's eyes, but they were tears of relief. Daniel was safe, and he sounded strong. She read every word, imagining her son in his uniform, standing tall and brave. The letter ended with a message that made her heart swell with pride. I think about you every day, Mom. Your letters keep me going, reminding me why I'm here. I promise I'll come home safe. Until then, keep writing to me. Your letters mean everything to me. With love, Daniel. Mrs. Joel folded the letter carefully, placing it in a special box where she kept all of Daniel's letters. She felt a renewed sense of strength, knowing that her son was doing well, but the worry never completely left her. Every day was a mix of hope and fear, but she continued to write to Daniel, pouring her heart into each letter. As the seasons changed, Mrs. Joel's routine remained the same. She wrote to Daniel every week, sharing stories of home, the neighbors, and the changing weather. She told him about the flowers blooming in the garden and how the old oak tree by the window had grown even taller. She knew these small details would bring a sense of comfort to Daniel, a piece of home in a faraway place. One cold winter morning, Mrs. Joel received a letter from Daniel that made her smile wider than she had in months. It was short, but it held the promise she had been waiting for. Dear Mom, I have some good news. We've been told that we'll be heading home soon. I can't wait to see you and be home again. I miss you so much. I'll be there before you know it. Love, Daniel. Mrs. Joel's hands shook with joy as she read the letter over and over again. Her son was coming home. She couldn't wait to hold him, to see his smile and to hear his voice in person. She immediately started preparing for his return making his favorite meals and tidying up his room. Every day felt like an eternity, but the thought of Daniel's return kept her spirits high. Finally, the day arrived. Mrs. Joel stood at the train station, her heart pounding with anticipation. The platform was crowded with families waiting for their loved ones, and the air was filled with excitement. As the train pulled into the station, Mrs. Joel scanned the crowd searching for Daniel, and then she saw him, tall, strong, and smiling. Her heart leaped as Daniel spotted her and started walking towards her. She ran to him, tears streaming down her face, and threw her arms around him. Oh, Daniel, she cried, holding him tightly. You're home. You're really home. Daniel hugged her back just as tightly. I'm home, Mom. I told you I'd come back. They stood there for a moment, just holding each other, both of them overwhelmed with emotion. The months of worry and waiting melted away, replaced by the pure joy of being reunited. As they walked home together, Daniel told her stories of his time away, the friends he made, the challenges he faced, and how he thought of her every day. Mrs. Joel listened, her heart full of pride and gratitude. She knew that the letters they had exchanged had kept them connected, no matter the distance. That night, as they sat down to dinner, Mrs. Joel looked across the table at her son, feeling more at peace than she had in a long time. Daniel was home, safe and sound, and that was all that mattered. Mrs. Joel knew that the future might bring new challenges, but for now, she was content. She had her son back, and they were together. 
The letters they had written during those long months apart were now a testament to their bond, a reminder of the strength of a mother's love and the hope that kept them going. As they finished dinner, Mrs. Joel smiled and said, Welcome home, Daniel. I'm so proud of you. Daniel reached across the table and took her hand, smiling back at her. Thank you, Mom. I couldn't have done it without you. And in that moment, Mrs. Joel knew that everything was going to be okay. Here are 10 vocabulary words from the story, A Mother's Farewell Along with Example Sentences. Anticipation, meaning a feeling of excitement about something that is going to happen. Example sentence, Mrs. Joel waited at the train station in eager anticipation of her son's return. Eternity, meaning a seemingly endless period of time. Example sentence. Every day felt like an eternity as Mrs. Joel waited for news from Daniel. Reunited. Meaning. To bring together again after being apart. Example sentence. Mrs. Joel felt a wave of relief when she was finally reunited with her son at the train station. Anticipation, meaning the action of waiting eagerly for something. Example sentence, the anticipation of seeing Daniel again kept Mrs. Joel's spirits high, melted, meaning to dissolve or disappear gradually. Example sentence. The months of worry and waiting melted away as Mrs. Joel embraced her son, overwhelmed, meaning to be completely overcome by emotions. Sample sentence, both mother and son were overwhelmed with emotion as they hugged at the station. Testament, meaning something that serves as evidence of a particular fact or event. Example sentence. The letters between Mrs. Joel and Daniel were a testament to their unbreakable bond. Gratitude. Meaning. A feeling of thankfulness. Example sentence. Mrs. Joel's heart was filled with gratitude as she listened to Daniel's stories. Content, meaning, in a state of peaceful happiness. Example sentence, Mrs. Joel felt content knowing that Daniel was home safe. Determined, determined, meaning, having made a firm decision and being resolved not to change it. Example sentence. Daniel was determined to come home safely, just as he had promised his mother. Well done. I believe that now you have improved your English speaking and listening skills. It was very nice having you today. Please like and subscribe. I hope you learned a lot. Remember we are offering a course with over 40 hours of video lessons. The link is in the description. See you in the next lesson.